Later this week, SpaceX will launch a cargo rocket to the International Space Station. He's one of the world's richest men and owns SpaceX, Tesla, and Twitter. So Texas town divided at odds over what Elon Musk and SpaceX have done to their peaceful livelihood. SpaceX is Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built. To uh, potential spaceship that's ever been launched or developed. Starship is ready for launch, awaiting regulatory approval. And here so far is that before Elon Musk bought it, Twitter was wasn't so much a social media site. Elon Musk revealing over the weekend that the social media company is still cash flow negative. A behemoth SpaceX facilities. On the flip side, it's also brought an economic boom. For over a decade, the United States has leaned heavily on Russia to ferry astronauts to the ISS, a reliance underscored by NASA securing 71 seats for their astronauts aboard the Soyuz spacecraft over six years. These figures illuminate the stagnation and impotence experienced by the United States in this sector. This predicament is particularly disappointing given the U.S.'s reputation as a powerhouse in the aerospace industry. NASA has navigated numerous strategies to reestablish its deserved stand. Yet, it wasn't until 2020 that America's pride could ascend again. Interestingly, the entity credited with this notable accomplishment was not NASA, but a private entity known as SpaceX, helmed by billionaire Elon Musk. This unforeseen development left the entire Russian nation in stark astonishment. Astonishment. Join us today as we dissect the extraordinary tale of SpaceX. Before we delve into our video, we would appreciate it if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Let's dive in. Roughly a decade ago in the United States, with the space shuttle fleet's retirement in 2011, a need emerged to depend on Russia for transporting NASA astronauts to the ISS. However, 2020 witnessed a significant landmark with SpaceX's historic launch of NASA's astronauts from American territory. This event represented a crucial shift for the nation symbolizing the rebirth of the United States as a formidable space superpower capable of independently dispatching humans into space. The Dragon spacecraft facilitated this outstanding achievement, swiftly becoming a source of immense pride and inspiration for all Americans. The reality that a private American enterprise could launch its astronauts to the ISS and securely return them without relying on Soyuz capsules dealt a significant blow to Russia's space program. Russia heavily counts on the ISS for funding and international esteem, rendering this accomplishment even more impactful. While Russia persists in its dependence on antiquated Soviet-era technology for its space launches, SpaceX has made exceptional strides by engineering reusable rockets and capsules that substantially curtail the cost of space exploration. Astronaut Shuichi Noguchi of the Japan Aerospace Agency eloquently encapsulated the superiority of the Dragon spacecraft when comparing his experiences piloting NASA's space shuttle and Russia's Soyuz spacecraft. In his view, the Dragon is the undisputed victor. Unlike the Soyuz capsules, which comprise three separate crew modules, the Dragon spacecraft includes only two parts, the crew module and the crew module trunk. This design mirrors the architecture of the Apollo command modules that successfully ferried astronauts to the moon. The Crew Dragon provides greater interior volume than the Soyuz spacecraft, stretching to a height of 8.1 meters and a diameter of 4 meters. This surplus room affords astronauts additional comfort and flexibility of movement. Unlike the Soyuz, which which only seats three individuals, the Crew Dragon can accommodate up to seven astronauts. However, NASA plans to utilize a maximum of four astronauts at a time for its commercial crew program. European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers offered his perspective on the Soyuz spacecraft, labeling it compact and congested. Conversely, SpaceX engineer John Federspiel accentuated the convenience of the Crew Dragon. He stated that the company sought to create a spaceship encapsulating the essence of the 21st century. One distinguishing feature of the Dragon is the touchscreen interface within the spacecraft. These touchscreens were designed not only for functionality, but also for an intuitive user experience. They function as simplified in-flight computers operated by mechanical keyboards. The commander maneuvers the spacecraft similarly to piloting an airplane. On the other hand, the Soyuz spacecraft's control panel is loaded with myriad switches, signal lights, and measuring instruments. Modern and streamlined technology is preferred over a control panel cluttered with buttons, where the correct one to press may need clarification. Unquestionably, one of SpaceX SpaceX's most significant assets lies in the affordability of a seat aboard the Dragon spacecraft, which is considerably more cost-effective than the Soyuz. This economic advantage stems from SpaceX's revolutionary strategy of using partially reusable Falcon 9 rockets and a reusable Dragon spacecraft. In stark contrast, the Soyuz system is entirely disposable after launch. Furthermore, SpaceX demands only half the price for a seat on the Dragon 2, amounting to $55 million. The Dragon spacecraft outperforms the Soyuz in design, cost-effectiveness, and advanced features, surpassing it in every respect. Russia has noted this striking difference 
and now perceives SpaceX as a formidable adversary in space exploration. The success of the Dragon has not only facilitated government-funded missions, but also paved the way for private enterprises to lease spacecraft for transporting cargo and equipment to space. The Dragon spacecraft has forged successful collaborations with various private partners, showcasing its versatility and adaptability. A notable instance is the historic space mission, Inspiration4, spearheaded by entrepreneur Jared Isaacman and executed by SpaceX. This mission is unique in space exploration, heralding the first all-civilian voyage to orbit the Earth. On September 15, 2021, the crew launched their space odyssey aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft, Resilience. The Inspiration4 mission is a significant landmark in commercial space exploration, exhibiting the abilities of private companies like SpaceX to undertake crewed missions beyond the traditional realm of government agencies. The Dragon spacecraft has also played a crucial role in enabling collaborative missions with Axiom Space, a private enterprise partnered with SpaceX for space travel services. In 2022, this alliance reached a remarkable milestone by conducting the first-ever fully private flight to the International Space Station, involving the participation of two private enterprises. This achievement spotlighted the potential for collaboration between private entities in space exploration. Building on this success, two additional Axiom flights have been confirmed and scheduled for the future. The next flight will launch on May 21st of the forthcoming year, marking another crucial stride in advancing private space travel. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft dependability has motivated entrepreneur Jared Isaacman to sustain a productive partnership with SpaceX for an upcoming mission dubbed Polaris. This mission is slated for launch by September 2023. It represents the first of three missions within the Polaris program, initially envisioned as part of their ongoing alliance. Engaging developments have also surfaced with the participation of VAST, a private startup creating ripples in the space travel sector. VAST has joined forces with SpaceX in a collective venture to launch Haven 1, the world's first remote space station, and employ the Dragon spacecraft for routine passenger transport. This bold endeavor plans to initiate launches as soon as 2020. Moreover, VAST has secured an option with SpaceX for a second mission, VAST-2, scheduled for 2026. These alliances are potent illustrations of the substantial potential for commercial enterprises to harness the capabilities of the Dragon spacecraft and broaden their footprint in space exploration and tourism. By harnessing the competencies of the Dragon spacecraft, these partnerships empower corporations to extend their scope and grasp new opportunities within the dynamic space industry. The swift progress made by the Dragon and SpaceX has cast a substantial shadow over Russia's Soyuz spacecraft. This is apparent from the dwindling partnerships within the Russian space industry. For example, OneWeb, a satellite-based internet provider, relied solely on Russia's Soyuz rocket for satellite launches. However, due to disputes with the Russian Aerospace Space Center, OneWeb strategically cut ties and bore considerable losses exceeding 200 million US dollars. In pursuit of a more dependable partner, they pivoted to SpaceX. This move struck a significant blow to Russia as it forfeited its most substantial business venture to date. This loss compounds the pre-existing challenges confronting Russia's space programs, battling budget reductions and technical hurdles. The status of the Russian Soyuz rocket has significantly deteriorated, made apparent from a failed mission due to a leak last September. As a result, the Dragon spacecraft remains the sole non-Russian vehicle capable of safely bringing astronauts back to Earth. Additionally, the Soyuz has faced complications due to setbacks at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. In March 2023, Kazakhstan seized control of Russian spaceport assets due to unpaid debts, leaving the Soyuz without a launch pad. It wouldn't be shocking if Russia opted for Crew Dragon seats for ISS journeys. SpaceX's unforeseen success has startled Russia and even NASA as the private firm outpaced NASA in launching astronauts. The Dragon has become a prime choice for government contracts, revolutionizing the space industry. That concludes our presentation for today. We trust you found our video intriguing. If so, please extend your support with a thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you still need to do so, please consider subscribing to our channel. Please don't neglect to activate the notification bell to avoid missing any of our new content. In conclusion, thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you next time.